Alrighty. Hello, hello, everybody. This is Kiru Show here, and now. Before we do begin, let us give a brief little review. In the last part, a number of things have happened. We had Deku. We also had Bluebird. Now, Deku saved Harper Row from the Joker gang. And Deku, he took her back to the Batcave, where he met Dick Grayson both currently dressed as Batman. And the two, they had a bit of a chat. Dick was surprised to find that Deku was back in Gotham. He was also surprised to see that Deku was taking on the mantle of Batman as well. Dick was, however, more surprised that Deku, he came here with Harper Row. He took her to the Batcave because it was the only place safe that they know is for sure safe. Now, Deku even told Dick, he is trying to be Batman, and Dick is surprised because Deku, he's calmer, he doesn't seem aggressive, he's not using guns, he's not killing. So clearly something happened that night, he was locked in the Batcave, and he wants to find out what and why. But more importantly, he wants to help Harper Row, because she is using guns, and she has been trying to kill, and he needs to stop that right now especially if she is going to be joining their family. And with that being said, we do currently pick up with Deku. Deku does stand there in Gotham. And right now, he does go look down. He's quite intrigued and impressed. And Deku, he does go to actually press a button as his cow does go to pop up a map. And he does start to look around. He does see it. He has it all broken down. And it's kind of rough, but he does have areas mapped out where territories, they start to overlap. You have Bane's territory. You have Scarecrow's territory. You have the Joker's area, which is basically just a dot on the map. And then you have Poison Ivy's territory. You have Arkham, which is Hugo's territory. And Mr. Freeze, he's taken over a small plant. He is trying to uncover and save his wife. And Deku... He has a few ideas as to what to do. There are many things he can do here. Many ways he can gain allies, if not supporters. People on his side. And right now, he needs to take out somebody powerful to show that Batman is back in town and that he means business. And Deku, he does go to one person he knows he definitely has a vendetta against and who won't be prepared for the Batman to knock down their door and beat the shit out of them. As we do currently cut over to Scarecrow's base. Now, with that being said, we do currently have Deku. Deku is going to walk through the front door. And with people shooting guns at him, Deku, he does keep moving. He throws out the smoke bombs. He also throws out batterings. As the smoke starts to fill up the area, people, they have their guns knocked out of their hands. Others actually being struck in the arms or even in the shoulders by the batterings. And a lot of people, they're actually very surprised. As a man currently, he does have his gun get jammed with a battering as he pulled the trigger. Him screaming out because his gun exploded and threw shrapnel into his hand. And Deku, he does go rushing forwards. Him actually seeing the man as he's going to throw his fist out, smashing it directly into the man's gut, bringing his hand up and smashing him across the face. The man going to fall down to the ground. Deku stepping forwards and over. I'm going to flip the man over and then going to scan his body. No wounds and no arteries hit. I'm going to turn and grab towards the gun. Someone tried to swing his direction. Him going to grab the muzzle and then going to aim it upwards as he started firing. Deku going to bring his hand up and smash them in their hand. As they let go of the gun with their left arm, Deku throwing out his hand flat up into their throat before pulling the gun out of their hand. And then, going to bring his hands down, grab it, and spin it on them. The person going to bring up their hands. As Deku, he does go to eject the mag, smile, and then throw out his foot, smash them upwards in the chest, sending them flying backwards and onto the ground, heavily out of breath. And Deku, he does just go to turn and look around, as he does go to get ready to deal with more of the Scarecrow's thugs. However, Scarecrow, he actually does go to confront Batman on his own. Him going to announce to him that he's so happy that Batman's here tonight. 
he wants him to know. He was planning a performance that would definitely cast fear into Gotham. It's over, Scarecrow. I highly doubt that, Batman. The game is just getting started. You see, what I'm doing is quite simple, and you're trying to poison Arkham with fear toxin. Go ahead. Release it on me. Come on. I'm not afraid, Scarecrow. They go stepping forwards, and announcing the Scarecrow. He will deal with an entire room full of fear toxin. He will deal with anything. Scarecrow is his intended target. He is going to come after him, and he's going to put him back in Arkham Asylum. The prison won't be run by the inmates anymore. The city won't be run by them anymore. And Scarecrow, he knows going to laugh. As he does going to do with a Batman specially requested. Him filling the room with fear toxin. And going to wait. And Deku, he does get ready. He knows what he needs to do. Him going to breathe up a bring a rebreather up to his mouth, covering his nose and mouth. As Deku he actually is gonna fall forwards onto the ground. Him getting ready. The plan is to be enacted. He already has fear toxin in his veins, so that will definitely do some good. So, he just has to wait. That being on Deku's mind. In Scarecrow, whenever the toxin does gonna to leave the room being pumped out, he does see Batman on his hands and knees somewhat, sitting there on a grate. And he is quite happy. Him going to walk down to deal with the Dark Knight himself. Him brandishing a firearm, as when he does going to walk out, he does going to see Batman. Him having two of his goons grab onto Batman and pull him to his feet. As Scarecrow does start to talk, he does have to say, the Batman did things quite simple. Quite easy. Quite. Deku going to look up towards Scarecrow. And Scarecrow does see Deku. As he no longer has that rebreather on his face. Him going to throw his hand out to the left. Smashing the goon across the face for bringing up his hand. Him going to knock his hand away. And then going to throw his fist backwards into the man's nose. Breaking it. And Deku does get a turn. Him going to throw batterings to both men. As the more the two do get stabbed in their bodies and go to get pinned to the ground, Deku does a turn back, Scarecrow bringing up his other hand and blasting out Fear Toxin at Deku. And Deku does going to take a massive amount of it to the face. Him going to stumble backwards as Scarecrow, he actually is going to bring up his hand. Him still holding the device and forming Batman. You see, he ruined the fun. It wasn't supposed to... <laughs> what? Deku looking up, and Scarecrow does see it. He's not afraid. Scarecrow, do you remember that boy in Arkham? Hmm? Batman? No, not Batman. Deku bring his hands up, and pulling the cowl off of his head. And Scarecrow, his eyes go to widen, as he sees a dead man standing in front of him, with a smile on his face. Deku stepping forwards. In Scarecrow, he does feel himself cower. Batman is... a dead man. No, that can't be right. Scarecrow, him, going to drop the gas. And Deku does going to step forwards. Announcing that Scarecrow, he does have to say, this is definitely going to be quite fun. And we do cut to 20 minutes later, where Dick Grayson, he had the idea to try and take down Scarecrow. His scheme to affect the water in Gotham is a very, very big deal. If people start suddenly having bouts of fear, especially police officers, people will lose their minds and their lives. So this was definitely important. Scarecrow has been hiding, and now that he's popped up again in a one spot, a solid location, it's the best time to Dick actually going to open the door and walk into the room. As he's surprised, yeah, security was good, but there's currently Scarecrow currently laying on the ground. As Deku, he does currently stand there smashing his fist down over and over again on his Scarecrow's face. As the man does sit there bloody and laying in a pile of fear. Now, I think we all know what that fear is. 
and Scarecrow, he is afraid. Him currently balling, well, curling up into a ball, and at least shouting. He wants to go to Arkham. And Deku is going to pull back. Him going to at least pick up Scarecrow and tell him about exactly what he'll do. And Dick is going to watch. He's definitely concerned about this. Him reaching down for a battering. As Deku, he yells at Scarecrow. That's for what he did. Hmm? All those years. Deku going to turn, throwing the Scarecrow across the room into the wall. Him smashing into it and breaking an arm. As Scarecrow is going to fall and still shake. Deku is stepping forwards. All those years he spent afraid. All those years he spent in the cold cell of Arkham. All those years he spent under the asylum. And now they're running the city just like it's Arkham. And now they're free. He'll let Scarecrow go back. But he does have one question for Scarecrow. Deku holding up the fear toxin. Him smashing the mask on the Scarecrow's face and turning the gas all the way up. And screaming in his face. As you do catch the Scarecrow's point of view. The entire room is red. Things are shaking and he's seeing triple images. And then there's Batman. Batman wears the face of a dead man, but then there's that expression, the gumless face, or, well, the face without the lips. They've been torn off, and the way they look, as Batman screams out with anger and rage. And Scarecrow, he does stare at the dead man, as that dead man starts to vomit up critters all over his face, and Scarecrow does start to bring his hands up grabbing at his face, trying to pull them away, get them off of him. And Dick acts as going to step out from the shadows, shouting at him, That's enough! Deku going to turn, as he actually does go to throw down the fear container. Him staring at Dick Grayson, and Grayson does shout to him, Any more of this, and Scarecrow is going to be killed. And Deku does going to tell him, He's just giving the man a taste of his own medicine. I'll take him to Arkham in a second. Then again, they still need to liberate it from Hugo. Hmm? You're not going to kill him? No. That's not what Batman would do. How do you know what Batman would do? Because. Because what? You had time to reflect? Time to think? Time to... Do you know what it's like to die, Grayson? No. Can't say that I do. I can tell you. And whenever I do tell you this, no, I'm being honest. Deku couldn't turn around. And Dick does see it on Deku's face. He can see Deku's mouth. And Deku does go to tell him. Whenever he died, he was in immense pain. He remembers it. He was burned alive. He remembers feeling his flesh melting, his blood boiling. His eyes turned to liquid in his skull. He even remembers his brain. Liquidizing? No. Cooking. He remembers every sensation. Until he doesn't. Death was like a, well, steady stream. The moment you stepped into it, you didn't realize you were being carried away. The moment you relax your entire body and float. In that moment, you feel a peace like never before. You feel a woman brace. It's hard to explain. Death is certainly something people fear, but they shouldn't. The fact that death happens, you just return to wherever they come from. You return to whatever primordial force just held you like a baby. And Dick is confused. And Dick does continue to explain. But the Lazarus Pit... The Lazarus pit felt like boiling acid. Imagine being ripped from a steady, calm afternoon. And all of a sudden, you're dropped in a vat of acid. It doesn't burn you completely. It rips away at the layers. I mean, that's the best way to describe it. You panic. You scream. You go into survival mode. Your mind quite literally freaks out because it's never dealt with such pain. Your body... It goes to have reactions it's never had before. Because 
It's trying to function as it's being destroyed. His mind was rebuilt. Yeah, probably not right, but he's definitely gotten better. Thank Bruce for that. And Deku is confused. Because Deku, the way he said that last part, thank Bruce for that. And right now he does look at Deku surprised. He's definitely concerned. But more importantly, he's also worried. And we do currently have our bluebird does come walking to the room. And Deku, he does get a turn bringing his hand up to his belt. As whenever he saw Harper, he just wanted to go bring his hand back down. And then somebody else came walking into the room. And Deku went to go stare. Him asking Tim, or not, why do I keep saying Tim? Deku turning to Dick and asking if he's really running around with two Robins. And Dick, he actually had to turn back. Him seeing Harper and Duke. Him expressing, yeah, they, uh, they definitely need guidance. Hmm? Seems like it. You take away her guns? I did. Though, um, I guess I probably shouldn't be the one to do this. She's definitely going to hate me for this. Hate you for what? T I was going to do it again. Dick, bring his hand down. And grabbing at his belt. Him pulling something up and tossing it over to Deku. Deku going to bring his hand up and catch it. Him going to look at it. But we're going to pull open the container. And then pull out a communicator. As Dick is going to express. Calm line 4. That's the only one he has access to. Stay on that line and don't go anywhere. Alright. Deku going to put this in his utility belt. As he's going to turn and walk away. And Dick, he does get a deal with Scarecrow. And meanwhile, Deku, he took out one of the big bosses. Which means territory is up for grabs. Now, I think we all know what's going to happen here. The gangs start to dispute what's going on. Rumors of Scarecrow being taken down start to, start to come out over the course of a few days. Meanwhile, Deku, he actually did get back into the back computer's communications. And Barbara, she sat there thinking about what to do. Dick, he did something that she didn't want him to do. She voted against it. And now she has to deal with it. Okay. Okay. Her going to pop into the channel. And Deku, he currently does stand on top of a building. Him going to hear the sound of her entering his calm line. And Deku is going to start. What does he want? Hmm? It's me. Oh. Um. <clears throat> hey, Barbara. Were you making your voice steeper? No. Never mind. Um. Did you... I'm sorry. Hmm? I... I didn't know he... I didn't know he hurt you like that. I'm... <sighs> I know. He just... He wanted to hurt me. And... If he knew I was Batgirl then, he probably would have done worse. He didn't know? No. No, he didn't. He went after Barbara Gordon. He went after her. Not Batgirl. <sighs> Fuck. I'm... I, I just... You play with my emotions, you know that? I know. I want... <sighs> God, this is hard. Okay. I just want to chat. Would it be possible to meet up somewhere? Like right now? No. Just soon. Maybe. Maybe. I need to deal with a few things. Alright. 
I understand. But, um, I just, I want to know what, I need to talk to Izuku, not Jason. Okay. Do I have your word? You do. Don't pull any tricks on me, all right? I'm not. Barbara, I don't. I do care. I know you do. You just... You came into my life wrong. I know. You do. So, I want to talk. Resolve. Not resolve, just closure. Yes. I just... I want to... I want to live. I know. So do I. I'm still fighting to live. I... I want to discuss Joker. <sighs> okay. What happened with you and him? I get that that's complicated history. I need your word that you won't... I can't. What? I can't give you that. I'm going to kill the clown again. Make sure he's dead. If it's somebody wearing his face, so be it. Another death of my conscience. I can live with that. But it's just the clown. No more. I'm putting down the guns. Are you serious? Yes. But Barbara, don't get in my way. I know you want the Joker to rot in his cell, but he always gets out. I'm going to do what needs to be done, and Joker will stay dead. I... that's my promise, and I won't change it. The Joker, he does need to die. I know that. You know that. Gotham knows it. This all started because of him. I know. But I just don't. You don't condone it. It's not that I, I, Barbara going to leave the chat. Her going to exit the comm channel as Deku, he does just sit there alone, thinking. Of course, of course. So how to deal with her? That's going to be complicated. <laughs> okay, so let's do a few things. Deku gonna stand and go to zip line across to another roof. As we do, however, he does go to walk into Ivy's. I was gonna say atrium, but that doesn't sound right. Let's just call it. An, let's just call it an atrium, and just say that she turned the entire place into her own private garden. Vines everywhere along the walls, flowers everywhere, and people. Yeah. Right now, they leave her alone. She has them all working on quite a number of things. Now, we do actually have Ivy. Ivy does sit there making a plan. She needs to do this properly, but also be careful. She needs to make sure she can save, well, her. And Deku currently does go busting into the room. And Ivy does go to bring her hands up. Her getting ready as she doesn't hear bullets fly. And then there is, we should see Batman step forwards. Her expressing to the Dark Knight. She's really not in the mood for this tonight. Her going to bring up her hands and wrap Deku up in vines. And Deku does feel himself get restrained. Before he does, he's going to tell Ivy. He's here because he wants to talk. Hmm? Really? Batman wants to chat? Well, how about we chat face to face? Her bring her hand up to the cow. And Deku does tell her. He wouldn't do that if he was her. Hmm? And why not? Trust me, the results can be quite... Her bring her hand up, grabbing at it as she feels a jolt of pain. And the electricity does get to run through her entire body. And the moment Deku does get to feel the plants get loosened around his left arm, he does to pull his hand back and then go to reach down towards his belt. 
pressing a button, which does which does get spray out weed killer in front of Ivy. Now, Ivy does get to feel the effects of this. Her gonna back away as she's gonna fall onto the ground. Her coughing desperately as her plants they start to w wilt. No, that's the right word I believe. Anyways, the plants are starting to wilt, and Deku, he does get to inform her. Highly potent weed killer. Him going to walk around her and going to bend down, telling Ivy, he's here to chat. He won't harm any more of her plants if they can just talk. He knows that Harley's missing. And the clown? He's been hiding. He has a plan, doesn't he? He wants her to contact Harley. And Ivy does not look up towards Deku. Her bringing her hand out and grabbing at him. Before she was trying to tell him, she doesn't know where Harley is. Hmm? I'm trying to find her. Joker. Bazaar. Oh. When was the last time you talked to her? Can she lead me to him? No. He has her. Captive. Hmm? Captive. He's gonna kill her. You're serious? Yes. She's in danger. I... I need your help. Deku gonna watch Ivy. As she currently does gonna pass out. And Deku, he actually gonna bring his hands out to pick Ivy up. Because this definitely got a lot more complicated. Okay. His deal might be... Off of the table. But in exchange... Getting Harley back in order to get closer to the Joker. It definitely sounds like something intriguing. And right now we do, we do actually cut over to Mr. J. Who, he does going to sit there. Expressing to many people. That the current scheme has been going good. And honestly he does have to say. Him walking past the table. With a man strapped down. Missing a majority of his fingers. That the plan's gonna go quite well. Ham turns to the man, and the man does have blood running out of his mouth, down his chin from where his tongue used to sit. And Joker does gonna inform them. All of them are gonna be pretty little fireworks. All of them are going to be so beautiful. He wants to watch them all explode. And Joker does a turn to look back towards Harley Quinn, expressing to her. He does have to say, though, him walking forwards and going to bend down. She forgot about old Mr. J. She forgot about Joker and Harley. She left him. And he does have to tell her. That does piss him off quite a bit. Joker going to bring his hand out. Telling her. So he'll make her a bit of a deal. He is going to take away her face. How about that? And Harley is going to stare back. The Joker. Criminally unhinged. A psycho. In her professional opinion, the Joker, he was a madman. He was insane, yes. He was something people they didn't know how to deal with because he was just chaos. And Harley? She's afraid. This isn't her Mr. J. Her string back at Joker, who right now has a wide grin on his face. As his lips and his mouth, they don't angle together. He's not wearing his face. Because he's wearing his face. As a mask. And Harley does going to stare at Mr. J. As the man is going to smile, and then going to bring his hands up. Grabbing towards the mask and pulling it off. Harley seeing the dried muscle underneath. As Joker, he has to spin it around and then go to put it back on. Telling Harley, she made him quite, him bringing the knife back up, sad. Now, with that being said, I do hope you guys enjoyed. Have an amazing day. I'll catch you guys in the next part.